How does your ear work? This is a really important basic anatomy that's important to understand so you can understand your hearing loss and your treatment. So this part of your ear is just the beginning. It's what we call your concha and it's like a funnel to grab sound and filter in and pull it into the ear. That goes down into your ear canal. Now most of you are a little bit familiar with your ear canal because you can put your finger there. This ear canal is simply a tunnel or a hallway for that, those sound waves to travel down. Once the sound waves get here, there's this little gray membrane, it's called the tympanic membrane. You may be more familiar with the eardrum. Those sound waves are vibrations. It hits that membrane and just like a drum, that membrane starts to vibrate. And that's how the sound gets into the ear, but everything else stays out. You don't want dirt or wax or bugs getting down into this very fragile part of the ear. So the eardrum keeps everything safe. Past the eardrum, we have your middle ear. In the middle ear, you have a series of three bones called the acicular chain. You might have remember from school the incus, the malus, and stapes. And those three little bones just work like a lever system. So as those sound waves vibrate the eardrum, that vibration now travels through those bones, which are all connected, and goes into the cochlea. So you can see the cochlea here. It looks like a tiny, like a little snail. Inside that, there are about 15,000 little nerve cells in each ear. Those nerve cells and the fluid surrounding them create the energy that sends the auditory signal to the brain. Those 15,000 cells are very fragile. And this is where about 95% of hearing loss happens. As those nerves die or break off, they're no longer able to send the signal to the brain. So imagine if you have 15,000, you could lose 100 and not know the difference. And then 200, and then 1,000, and then 2,000. By the time you've lost thousands of those nerve cells, the brain is suffering a lot of deficit of information. The other 5% of hearing loss can happen here in that middle ear. That eardrum can be broken or those little bones can be broken or calcified. And in that instance, you're gonna see a ear, nose, and throat doctor, an otolaryngologist, and they're gonna diagnose whether surgery might be an answer for you. So that's a really quick lesson on how the ear works. Um, and it's a wonderful, delicate place that adds so much to our life. So not only do we want to appreciate our hearing, we want to take care of it every day. Um, so you may want to watch the, another video called When is Noise Too Loud so that you know how to properly take care of your ears.